Is it possible for me to know a woman in the biblical sense? Are we talking about sexual intercourse? I think so. I can't blame you for wanting to roll your eyes about yet another true story about a man who fights on despite a seemingly insurmountable handicap. But like the elephant man and my left foot and the diving bell and butterfly, the Sessions is actually a deeply inspirational and unforgettably uplifting experience. This therapist suggested I could work with a sex surrogate who would be sensitive to my unusual needs. In my heart, I feel like he'll give you a free pass on this one. How great is it to see the brilliant character director John Hawks with a showcase role in The Sessions, which is set in 1988 and is based on a true story. Hawks is funny, touching, vulnerable, brave, and utterly believable playing Mark O'Brien, who was confined to an iron lung for about 20 hours each day. But Mark can experience physical sensation, and at 38 and getting close to his due date, as he puts it, he wants to lose his virginity. You're going to start to listen to signals from your body. That way you'll be able to have some control. Oh, God. Enter the surrogate played by Helen Hunt. It's a moving performance that's better than anything Hunt has done in her career. Hunt bears her body and her soul playing a middle-aged woman with a particular set of skills who usually has no trouble separating her unusual line of work from any emotional attachment, usually. What happens when people become attached to each other? Maybe this is a bad idea. I think you've done a great thing. There's at least as much comedy as tragedy in the sessions. It's really, really funny, but yeah, there are also moments that would make a statue weep. Thanks to writer-director Ben Lewin, the Oscar-worthy cast, and the real-life Mark O'Brien, this is a great film. I give it an A+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels.